Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on Stalker Anomaly Escape from Pripyat 4.2.5 Now, it's the reason why it's 4.2.5 is because it's updated twice and it's got 5 hotfixes applied to it So we're up to version 4.2.5 and this is a lot of fun! I'm liking this already I've had a little fiddle about with it, I've had a little play with it about it But, we're going to get a couple of episodes out of this, uh, out of this mod pack So. We have got a little character here named Igor Bum. That's his name. Don't ask about it. We've got a little Vepper. We've got a little a, a Molot VPO-136 Vepper KM Carbine. It is a single fire kind of Kalashnikov and we've got two magazines, one full and one partially full or half full. We are going to start off by getting our little tasks from our favourite fat boy. Oh, and this chap right here. I've is it bad that I've forgotten all their names? Wolf and Prapor. No, is it, it's not Prapor, is it? Prapor? No, just a is. Sidorovich! Sidorovich! I'm thinking of Tarkov! Right. Let's get our uh, let's get our tasks from these boys. Let's get our tasks. Uh you got any work for me? Uh mutant threat, I'll do it. Thanks. Is there any work you want me to do? Tourist Safari, I'll do it. Any work? Uh, rescue the courier. We'll do it. Any more work? Cool. See you later. Now we do have a couple of uh, companions now. We've got these two chaps right here. So we're going to use them to to help us kill the uh, the, uh, the 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 mutant threat. And we're also going to sort out some uh, some of Sidorovich's. Uh, all right. How do I get rich? Wait, is this common Straylock? Sounds okay. Is there any work you want done? Yes, yeah, sure. Any work? Sure. Any work? Sure. Any work? Nah, never mind. Let's see what kind of equipment he's got to trade for us. A suppressor, some additional magazines, and some additional rounds of ammo. Now, I might get some. And that's going to set me back a, a little bit. Going to set me back a little bit, but the more bullets I have, the better. So we're going to we're going to work we're going to work with that understanding. All right. Load up our magazines and then we'll head out. This is my starting kit, by the way. Started out with a Sunrise Stalker suit, uh, a respirator. We've got a half decent Hunter's kit bag, which means we get a bonus if we have the knife. We can actually skin and get more meat back for each mutant that we kill. I've got a basic knife. It's not great for most things, but it's good for right now. Got our bolts, got our PDA. And I've got a bunch of uh, of splints, essentially. I've got a splint for my leg, I've got a splint for my arm, and I've got a bandage for myself. Right, let's go have a little nosy and see if we can kill some things. Right, let's get the PDA up. Let's figure out where all these uh, tasks are. So we've got one here, which is the tourist safari. Uh, we have one here, which is the courier. And in fact, you know what we'll do? We'll walk all the way to the elevator. And then we'll head to the right. We'll take out these guys, these uh, this threat for Cordon, the mutants. And then we'll take out these guys. And on the way back, we'll do some mutant safari work. Uh, there's another thing that we've got to do as well. We need to go talk to... Uh, I've totally forgotten his name. I've totally forgotten his name. Fanatic? Fanatic? Fanatic. Right, we'll talk to him when we come back, right? It's probably better that we do that. Now... This is a single fire rifle. I will have to, I will have to shoot plenty of times to get the get the things to die. Um, after various updates, they've changed quite a from like a significant portion of this game or, or mod pack, and it's uh, it's genuinely impressive. So we're gonna walk along here. I can hear the helicopter, but I can't actually see it. I don't see it, but we're gonna. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, the anomaly. The anomalies have all changed as well. The, at least the looks of them, they've changed. So, the, oh. Ooh. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it to bits. That's not good. Right, that's that one dead. I'm hurt though. Right. Heal. Heal. There we go. We're good. Press F1 as well. 
just to cure some bleeding. What are we looking like with the old magazines? Less than half. We're still bleeding. We are still bleeding. Oh, we're doing okay. We're alright. Okay. Already for a good start. <laughs> I've already been attacked by the bloody boars. Perfect. Right. Let's 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 just go in a line. Let's just go in a straight line. We'll rescue the courier. We'll get we'll grab the courier and then we'll do the safari. Right? That's it. That sounds like a plan. I like the foliage. They've actually done a really good job with the foliage. And it moves as well as you move over it as well. That's perfect. I love that. That's so good. This game looks fantastic. Now, a lot of people will probably comment that the game doesn't look kind of grayscale, doesn't look like there's been a like a nuclear meltdown and stuff like that, but I don't really mind it. I don't really I don't really mind it. It looks like this. Actually, it, the vibrancy of it looks makes it look really really cool. It looks really really cool. I can't wait to see what the red forest looks like. That's going to be terrifying. Genuinely terrifying. Not just that, the chimeras. And the bloodsuckers. Right, these guys, these guys should, these guys should drop quite easily. I say they should drop, drop easily, but I don't think they will. There's one right there. Right, he's dead. Oh, reload. Oh, that guy just pistol whipped him. Still threat. Still threats around. Are we clear? I think we're clear. May as well just take them out. There's no point no point keeping them alive. Just kill them. Just kill them. There's no point keeping them alive. No point keeping them alive. They're bandits, they'll kill us. They will do other things as well, they'll annoy us. Oh, shotgun shells and a shotgun. Uh, I'm gonna put that shotgun on number two. Lovely. Nice. Like it. Take that pad. I'll take the watch as well. The watch might come in handy for something. Maybe. The watch is not going to come in handy for anything. It'll just be something I can sell. Okay, dokie. Let's see what's in here. More shotgun rounds. More money. Hey, friend. Do you have a... There should be a courier around here. There should be a courier around here somewhere. I think he might be in here. Hello! Hi, friend. Come with me if you want to live. See you later. Excellent, we've got three chaps now. This guy, this guy, this guy did all the killing. This guy did all the killing. Look at his armor. That guy's ready to kill some, th some things. Whilst we're here, we're going to do a little bit of looting. Let's see if we can get up this little ladder right here. See if we can find ourselves some goodies. Oh, hello. What we got over here? We got a little stash right here. I'm gonna sit, just sit here for just a second. Now, the campfires in this mod pack, you can actually replenish health from them. Obviously, if you've got your like, if you've got your legs fit. In fact, you can see. Look at my look at my icon in the bottom left. Do you see it climbing up? See how it's filling with the blue? Look at that! That's well good! I like that! That's awesome! I wonder if we can get it all the way to the all the way to the top. Oh, it's looking like we can. And we're full, we're full. Full health. Excellent. Like to see it. Uh, the reason why you see me swinging about like that so violently is so I can see if there's anything in my general vicinity. If you hold down F in this mod pack or in this game in general, you can in fact see things. You can pick things up and highlight things. So if I go around here, 
holding F, usually there's a wee thing. Just like that. I have totally forgotten what my melee button is. I believe it's one. Is it one? It is one. Right. Now that we've got ourselves all fixed up, let's move out to the next objective. My running speed will be a little bit slower now because I've obviously got a, a massive injury to my right leg. And our target is off to our right. What are we looking like in terms of ammo? More than half. And we have 30 rounds in one of those magazines, so we'll just change out for one. Perfect. 30 round magazine. Let's rock and roll. I love the way the game looks. I love the way that the... Like, I love the way, the way, like, the way that the sun shines on the gun. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. It's amazing. I love that. I love this. Also, you'll notice that there's stuttering every 10 minutes or so. Uh, that is because I've got an autosave running right now. I've, I'm not going to try and, I'm not going to try and scum save every now and then. I'm going to use the, uh, the autosaving function. I'm going to switch to my shotgun. That's a big anomaly. You see it? Not you. I want to see the anomaly. There you go. Big, 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 big anomaly. Oh, some very big anomalies, actually. We'll need to go around them. Getting a wee bit close to that one. Going to try and not go into the anomalies. Ooh, there's another big one. I love the way that the uh, the lighting in the game works now as well. This mod pack has completely outdone itself. I remember playing Escape from Trippery at 3.0 and it was awesome. And then they made 4.0 and now 4.2 is just a blast. I love the way everything looks now. They've done such a good job. Oh, there's our target. Nice, 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 nice. Yep, zombies as well. Man, this... Oh, jammed. Oh, he's, he's going for it. He's going for it. Good job. <gasps> oh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot you need to actually skin the zombies now in order to get the loot off of them. I forgot about that. Can I skin you? I need a sharper or tougher blade to do him. All right, we've got all of our objectives. We can just, we can actually just go home now. We can go home. We've got the courier. We got the safari. Let's double check. Yep, all ob all objectives have been complete. Uh, we've got a water so resource over there. We've also got to go over to the uh, what's this called again? Oh, that's getting close. I need to go back this way. Off to our right, boys. Let's go. Chop chop. Chop chop. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Double time, double time. I need to stay away from these bloody anomalies, man. I need to get some uh, some splints for my leg because my, my movement speed has been impaired. Hopefully with the rewards that I get for all three missions that I just completed, hopefully I get enough rubles back in order to, uh, to get some medical supplies. Because medical supplies in this game, as you're all aware, are quite imperative. They are quite imperative. You you will need like bandages, different types of splints. You'll need different types of like kind of narcotics to 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 beat any sort of like psychic damage. Oh, excuse me. And I believe there's other like uh, other like uh, other medications and stuff like that. For example, this one, which is obviously an anti-radiation, um, an anti-rad pill. Right, we'll just go through, we'll go, we'll go back through here. Smell that radiation. Yep, I love the smell of radiation in the morning. 
I love the way the game looks. It looks so good, man. Oh. I can't, I can't stop gushing about it. I can't stop gushing about it. It's been a while since I've... Oh, hello. I don't remember looting you. Hmm. Ah, bad radiation. Bad radiation. Speaking of radiation, actually. <laughs> Speaking of radiation. Uh, we may have to use the old vodka. Yeah, let's just, let's just use the old vodka. Might get a little bit drunk, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine to be a little bit drunk. You know what I mean? Just, just a little bit hazy. It's okay. It won't affect our aim in the slightest at all. <laughs> right. Let's uh, let's keep soldiering on. I would go faster. Um, actually, here's a here's a good question for you. We're, we're about 15, 16 minutes into the video, and this is the first question I'm actually going to ask you guys. Would you guys mind if I use the fast travel options using a backpack fast travel option? Would you guys mind me doing that? Because it would mean that I could fast travel between different stashes and stuff like that. And it would allow me to get to locations a lot quicker. And we would stop this whole, you know, walking through nothingness kind of deal. And we'd actually get to the things that we want to do. Would you guys mind if I enabled that? I don't mind if you guys don't want to see that if you want to see me just walking through the zone. Uh, con like consistently, just the same way as I've always done it. But I'd like to try out the uh, the fast travel feature. I've never actually given it a bash. There's, there's usually something here. There's usually there's usually something here that will cause grief or radiation. Have I even got any shotgun shells left? Huh. Turns out I can't, uh, I can't unjam this. Hmm. What if I just reload it? That works. That worked. Right, where am I going? Oh, I'm actually walking right past it. Oh, down there's the military. Down there's the military, the, my favourite place to get, like, very early onset loot. Especially, like, AK, like, AK-12s, AK-15s, the potential for something like a, like a precision rifle, an L96 or something like that. I thought that was a giant wombat right there. I think it's just a part of the, I think it's just a wheel, but it, lo it looked like a wombat. I don't know why this looked like a wombat to me. So I'm losing that. my mind. I'm so used to this place, it's getting really old. Well, if you're used to the Rookie Village, why don't you just go north and see what the, uh, what, like, what Rost Rostock are doing, like, duty and freedom and stuff like that, see what they're all about. That's my favourite faction, by the way, freedom. Freedom's my favourite faction because they fight duty. And duty's all about order and stuff like that, and freedom are like, nah, let's just let's, let's just co coexist with everything. The job is done. 9,000. Nice. Job's done. 10 grand. Cool. Bye. Who are you again? Oh. You're you're a you're a what do you call it? You're a Sidrovich quest, aren't you? No. Work you want. No, 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 no. Maybe he's maybe he's also a, a wolf quest. Hold on. Wolf? Is this guy not yours? Ah, oh, he is. He is. Eleven grand. There we go. See you later. Now we have thirty-three thousand rubles. Thirty-three thousand rubles. Our stamina's improved as well. Let's get our. Uh, let's get our medications, shall we? So we're gonna get two of these. And we're going to get one of those, because we've already got one. We're going to get two of these. And we're going to get two more bandages. Or, sorry. Yeah, two more bandages, just like that. And we're going to get the rest of this ammo. Should we get a suppressor, you think? Should we get a suppressor? I love the fact that when you hover over this, you can kind of see the things that, that kind of fit it. Like the different types of magazines. What else have we got? 
Actually, let's sell let's sell this as well. Let's sell some stuff. Um Is that a busted old headlamp? Yep, that is. Sell that. Buy that. We've got fourteen thousand left. Um this unfortunately doesn't have a, a dovetail mount, so I'm not I've not really got any sort of optic options, but I could get that. Oh, that as well. We also need to get uh, something very crucial. D does he have any? Does he have any? He has battle beans. Let's get some bread. And let's get a water bottle. That's us down, but we've got food. We've got three drinks of water, which will help us with a radiation problem, and we've got our med, we've got all our meds, and we've got some additional ammo as well. There we go. Let's just stack up that ammo right there. Full metal jacket, seven six two by three nine rounds, and what we'll do is we'll quickly fix our uh, our whole issue with our leg right now. So this is for arms. This is for legs. We're going to use that. We'll use it once more, just so it's nice and full, and then we'll press F4. Watch that fill up. There we go. Fully healed, ready to rock and roll. Absolutely ready to rock. I'm going to move that to slot 2, actually, because that's probably a better way to do that. There we go. Excellent. What are we looking like for ammo? More than half inside that magazine. We can restack some ammo into this magazine as well. Let's reload again. We don't have enough to fill it, but we'll have ample enough. We'll have three stacked magazines. And we'll put these, put this there. So if I cycle through my relative things, like my PDA, I believe it's on eight, seven, six. Is it on six? Is it on five? It's on five. And we can also zoom in as well. That's perfect. Right, let's go have a wee let's go have a wee nosy at the uh, the military before we uh, we close out today's episode. What this is gonna be is gonna be th these episodes on Stalker are gonna be 30 minute blasts of just pure stalker. Oh, there's the helicopter! Everybody wondering where the helicopter is? I found it! Right, let's just, uh Scope the area out before we even move. Because sometimes... There will be things lingering on the outside. There's the checkpoint itself, there's the barricades. And the tower to the right. There should be a couple of bodies over here. Is that a tree stump? I really hope that's a tree stump. I don't see anybody at those... Uh, at those barricades. I see the helicopter, in fact. Let's double check to see if the, uh, the machine gunner's in place. There's usually a machine gunner. Yep, he's manning his turret right there. You can see him there just to the crosshair is. See his legs. Anybody in the tower? I don't see any legs. I don't see anybody sitting down or standing up. And there's nobody... Oh, there's somebody right there. That's a little campfire right there. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this direction. We're going to go far right here. Oh, electrical anomalies, huh? Actually, tell you what, we won't go this way. We'll not go that way. What we'll do is we'll talk to the fanatic. We'll get our our, our receiver by doing that quest, and we'll hopefully we'll get some money for the uh, for the squid that we're going to be picking up as well. That's that's something else we need to do. Usually, what you would normally do in this game, at least if you start in the rookie village, is you would talk to fanatic. You get a rundown on um, some basic things like anomalies, how to how to how to find different types of artifacts, how to contain artifacts, and then he would then set you on your way, really. But I've played this game so much that 
I don't necessarily have to do any of that anymore. I kind of go about it my own way. But we'll talk to him anyway. Hello! Tell me about yourself. Oh, bye-bye. Right, so now we have to go and deal with a few more... A few more boars, I believe. I believe he's going to be killing boars here. Training day, boar hunting. Yeah, so we need to go kill a couple of boars. So we need to rifle them as quickly as possible. Now, one thing to note is when you're playing this game as well, if you lose your character, if you lose your companion, uh, you could potentially fuck up the entire mission, so... It's a good idea to take point, unless they are literally beasts themselves, themselves like Straylock or any of the other notable characters that are in the game. But for the, for example, Fnatic is quite a he's, he's quite he's quite a squishy baby, essentially. He's quite a squishy boy, and he tends to get killed a lot. I've got him killed countless times in this general area, trying to do the boar hunt. Not by my own fault, just just because I didn't have a powerful, powerful enough gun. Okay. Obviously, seven six two is enough to put these things down, but these things have armored heads on them, so it's a good idea to to quickly kill them. Phew, that was crazy. Now, right now, we're gonna move to. The training field, the artifact training field, which is over yonder. And what I'm gonna have, to, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep the radiation poisoning for right now. Bottom left, you can see that I've got a little bit of radiation poisoning going on. We're just gonna keep that for right now because the reward that we get out of uh, of doing this training will actually help us get rid of the uh, the radiation poison. There we go, you need to stay still if you if you want to work it properly. There we go, 19 bullets and 27 bullets, and we've also got a full magazine in this bad boy. In this, oh, he's so, he's so pretty. Ooh. Right, this is the training field right here, I believe. Yep, this is the training field right here. So, what he's going to ask me to do is go in and find a couple of artifacts. There's two artifacts that he wants. Well, there's actually only one. It's the uh, the glowing squid that he wants, but you can also get yourself some radioactive bread. That is if you want some radioactive bread. And what we're going to do is we're just going to... Oh my god! I just stood in the fire. So, um, other tip, don't stand in the fire. Not a good idea. Right, you need to go over to this direction, I believe, past these cinder blocks. Right here, I believe it is. Yep, now I have to talk to him. Hey! Right, here we are, what do we do now? Show me, not bad, good to know, anything else, bye. Right, now that you've got the receiver, you can just put that there, and we're going to press number A... Going to press O? P? I? No? Okay. Is it number seven? Six? Right, number nine, zero, maybe? No? What is that again? I can't remember what the, uh, the key bind for that is. It's O, P, I, U, T, Y, L, K. Oh, that's my character skills. Chai is my PDA. That was weird. Okay. We need to, we need to somehow... Oh, I've... Did I just drop that? Oh, I just dropped that. I can't remember what the keybind for this is. I cannot remember what the keybind for this is. But I'll just scroll on my scroll wheel and see if we can find it. Why will you not let me have that? Right, guys, give me two seconds. I'm gonna go check the uh, check the keybinds. There we go. I got it. I got it. It was O. Oh, I forgot to set it. Right. Now we want to go. Want to, what we want to do is essentially go in here, and then on the left, you can launch that. So you want to stick to the right. Don't go too far. You can start to hear this thing going ape shit. Walk through here. And this is the bread. So you don't necessarily have to take that. After you've got the bread, stay to the left hand side of the tree. Go through the wee go, go through this little uh, this little tunnel. Turn right. Or turn left, sorry. Go along here. 
and it's right there. And then what you want to do with the squid is put it into this. Go back the way you came. Walk up here. And then if you hang to your right, there's a guy with a little lunchbox. You can actually search the lunchbox. Sometimes there's something in it, sometimes there's not. Right, now that you've done that, did he give us any vodka? He did. Let's just use that. Let's get rid of the radioactive presence. And we're good. We're good. That's us. That is us. We've done it. We've actually done it. So what we're going to do with the radioactive stuff is... Um, we're Strelok. St oh, not Strelok. Eh, Fanatic. You'll probably hear me talking about Strelok a lot. I'm sorry to spoil things for everybody, but Strelok is an important character. Right, we'll go talk to the big boy, which is Fnatic. I got the artifact. See you later. He'll tell you that he wants you to, that he essentially wants you to meet you in the center of the rookie village. So just go back to where you actually met him before, over here. What we're going to do as well is sit beside the uh, the campfire here. Sit beside the campfire, and it should take off radi some of my radiation poisoning. And it will certainly boost my health as well. And whilst we're here, we're going to use some of this water as well because I've got a little water icon. Radiation presence is gone. One thing to note as well: always keep your gun lowered here, especially if they are if they are yellow. Yellow means that they're neutral. Green. Oh, he's not green anymore. Green means friendly. Oh, hold on, I need to walk over here. There we go, training day with uh, Fnatic. Talk, talk, talk. Uh, that was sure something, I'm ready for this challenge. What's the challenge? Any work you want done, I'll do it. Any work you want done, done, I won't do it. Any work you want one done, I'm done. Right, to find the artifact, by the way, all we have to do is go over to this house, go up these ladders, because he's given you a challenge, essentially. And what you want to do is you want to crawl along here and grab this. This little thing right here, the ball. Right? Once you've grabbed the ball, you can go back down the stairs or back down the ladders and go back to see him. As soon as you see him, he'll basically tell you, oh, you can keep that. I found it. And that's it. That's it, essentially. Now what we want to do is we want to go talk to Strelok. No, not to Strelok, to Sidorovich. I've got Straylock on the mind, there's there's so many... Basically, I played this game a long time ago. A good while ago. And uh, and Straylock was an absolute bugger to me, essentially. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not taking any of the slander from people saying, Oh, he was, oh, he was a friend, he was a friend. I know he was a friend. But he left me, he almost left me for dead. What is this? Quick release system. Oh, okay. I don't actually know what that does, but what we're going to do is we're going to open this. Now bear in mind, these items are radioactive, so you need to be quick when you come to, to sell them. So sell them to this big man. He didn't want a lot of money for that one, but that's fine. I'm going to keep my hands on this um, lead-lined material box. And how much money have we got? We've got 12 grand, so what we can do is we can do a little bit more of the ammo, I believe. Armor piercing rounds. They are quite expensive. In fact, they are very expensive. We're not going to bother with that. We will buy the suppressor. Suppressor is going to go onto the gun. Just like so. And I think that's going to be it. We've got some additional mag magazine pouches here, but we can't put them onto... I don't believe we can put them onto this. I believe we can put them on uh, these bits right here. These little boxes that you can see below. Um. 43,000 for a PPM-88 gas mask. Okay. Right. Oh, wait. Sometimes you can find something in here. Right. Let's have a little look-see. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at that big suppressor. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're just going to sit beside the... Uh, the campfire until our radio uh, radioactive poisoning is pretty much gone essentially so we'll just sit here and that's it that's all we have to do there's a radioactive poison gone we're totally fine now 
We're absolutely hunky dory. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. We're back on Stalker Anomaly, Escape from Pripyat 4.2.5. That is the version of this game that we are on. If you want to check it out, you can download Stalker Anomaly for free and then join the Escape from Pripyat Discord to get all the relative uh, download links and all the relative installation files and instructions uh, if you want to try this out. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today. If you have enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up on it. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. A lot of people... Oh, he's going to play as a chin! What a man. He knew. He knew. Anyway, leave a comment on the video if you're interested in it. If you're not interested in it, tell me why you're not interested in it, maybe. Is it not your type of game? Uh, that as well, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching my old Escape from Pripyat 3.0 and 4.0 uh, playthroughs and you've still not subscribed, please consider subscribing, ring the little bell, you stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream which starts between 6 and 7pm UK. We go for about 3-4 hours playing Scum, a variety of survival games, we sometimes even play Stalker. Sometimes we play FPS titles, RTS titles, and sometimes I do a little bit of painting on stream. I like to paint 40k minis. If you're interested in that, uh, just drop a comment below. Anyway, I'm going to sit here and enjoy the, uh, the pleasant acoustics of the clear sky, which is these guys right here. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. As always, from the zone, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.